Okay, today I am going to review uh, the design, final design uh, assignment of uh, one of my courses and from one of my students, Martina Volna. Uh, I'm not sure whether I have pronounced her name accurately or not. Anyhow, I have seen uh, a lot of students repeating this uh, mistake again and again, which is using too much gray. Okay, so uh, you can see over here, here is a dark gray color. Then we have uh, over here this is another shade of gray color you can see two gray colors and then you can see also in this uh, heading she is using another gray color and um, over here another gray color okay so the first thing I am going to recommend you is that never try to overuse this gray color because it is going to make your design uh, look very dull okay so gray color is basically a dull color. So if you are trying to overuse it and trying to trying to use it um, more than three or four times, uh, then your design is going to look very dull. Okay. So instead of using just this plain gray color, what you can do is let me open up a new file. Um, let's open up a file for web and I'm going to use 1440. Okay, and uh, let's use something like that. Okay. okay, so instead of using something similar to this, let me zoom out. Okay, so what I uh, suggest you to do is, so if this is your header, okay, for example, this one. Okay, so you can do is you can pick up some color from here and you can make it dull like this. So now you can see the difference between these two colors. Okay. So this is also a gray color because, but it is mixed with another color. So this is the first tip. Also, you can do the same with uh, other colors. So if um, I'm going to add another color or another portion over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, pick up this gray color and I'm going to slide my slider towards some blue color and just take something like this. Okay. So it is kind of bluish, very light gray, whitish color. Okay. So if I look at the color, you can see it is F4, F6, F7. And RGB value is red as 244, 246, 247. Okay. So it is not a dull gray color. So this is going to improve your designs a lot. Okay, so this is uh, a bit about colors. Now we are going to come to the alignment part. Okay, so I'm going to close this and I'm going to show what are the alignment problems over here. So a lot of students, they uh, do this. Okay, so now you can see this is perfectly aligned, this logo over here. But if you look at this alignment, it is not aligned with this logo. Okay. So uh, if I highlight this logo, you can see it is at the top and it is at, at the middle. So make sure you align them um, in the middle like this. Also, you can decrease the uh, spacing between. Let me zoom in. Now you can see this spacing is inconsistent. Okay. So what you can do is you can just mark uh, a button like area like this and you write your text over here so and make it in the middle okay so you can see now if i am okay so each box should be the same size so it is 86 this is 79 must be 85 or something like that okay so choose one size and uh, use the same distance between all your different links over here so this is another mistake also for me this alignment is not accurate. It should be at the bottom uh, with this line and uh, move it a bit down. Okay. Okay. So uh, I really like this area. This is very nice. Uh, some indentation over here, uh, just like a magazine or uh, something like that. Okay. Never justify a line in web design. It is really going to, you know, hurt your web pages. Okay. So this is good for uh, when you are d doing something for print designers, uh, but not in the web design. Okay. Uh, make your buttons consistent. If you are using one style over here like this one, 
try to use the same style or just create two styles don't use too many styles so okay so you can see one style is this one one is this one and one is this one so you are using uh, three styles over here which I really don't recommend just use this one uh, all over the place because design must be consistent okay so design is basically a calculated um, work of graphic design okay so it is not not art you don't need to change uh, a lot of things again and again you you uh, you need to create consistent uh, items which are going to be repeated again and again okay so uh, here you can improve the background also there is one more thing you can see over here these are the headings you can at least make them bold and uh, change the color to a bit darker uh, gray okay so they look like headings okay then we have this area this is looking good again at the bottom you can use uh, this gray it is uh, not a very big problem but don't use the gray color uh, a lot okay so you need to restrict the gray color if you are using it in the footer don't use it in the header and everywhere else uh, try to limit your gray color and uh, I think that is it also you can see here you can reduce the size of this uh, logo over here and you can move these uh, links closer to each other also I think you are not using grids you can see here the alignment problem your contact is at this and your buttons are outside of this uh, area okay so if you are aligning something into grids like you can see over here uh, this area looks like it is 50 using 50 percent of space and also this 50 percent over here this is using 33 percent 33 percent and 33 percent or you can say four columns four 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 twelve columns so you are designing using 12 columns don't make sure your items are not leaking out of that you can extend your backgrounds like this one but not these uh, elements which you are going to interact with okay so uh, I think that is it one tip I gave you is that a lot of students are using gray colors again and again and they are overusing it uh, second is this consistency make sure you are using one or two styles of button not more than that third is alignment always align your uh, elements on your design accurately they are uh, going to be design is basically calculated UI design is all always calculated don't use this justify text make it left align or uh, maybe middle align if you have very uh, small text like one or two lines you can middle align them center align them if you have a lot of text always align it at the left okay so I really like this style over here this headings looks great and uh, that is all about this design uh, I hope you will improve uh, a lot of students will get improvement from this designs this is going to be my review session number uh, seven or eight I don't remember but I'm going to upload this video to YouTube so you all can see it and uh, improve your designs further okay uh, if I come up with another uh, very urgent update or very urgent tip to uh, for newbies or uh, the new designers who are transiting to this uh, UI design world I'm going to share it with you okay so um, if you uh, have any comments or suggestions you can put them in the text below or comments below this video on my on my youtube channel you can also subscribe if you want to and see you soon in another video